Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Meat Puppet. I'm going to bring you guys the next A to the Z, 45, which is going to be Nasus, played by Westride. He's a Diamond Elite player, the first division, currently at 2,547 ELO. Yeah, I was watching him on stream. I accidentally spectated the game and it was the same one, so I had a good description so on what he was doing. And in this situation, he took um, 80 runes, and the reason for that is to help him with um, the late phase it's not about the 80 damage but it's about the sustained da and damage that you can keep up because Nessus passive as we all know soul eater Nessus drains his full spiritual energy so in other words every time he hits somebody he heals and it also heals on his Q so you can sustain people that can out damage you because Nessus is one of those old champions um, so he doesn't fit the current meta perfectly but he can adapt to it very well then you got his next attack, um, is Symphony Strike. Every time um, you activate it, the next attack will do a specific amount of damage. Every time he kills a unit, he gains 3 attack damage permanently. And if he kills like a champion, a big monster or a big minions, those canyon minions, he will gain 6. So, he's all about the farm. You need to farm with this guy to be able to do big damage late game and people will feel it. But if you don't do it correctly, you're gonna be in trouble because people will, will not target you because you're not a threat in this situation. Next is going to be Wither. Um, he slows you for 35%, your attack speed and your movement speed. And this will actually raise little by little to 47 or a little higher depending on the level. If somebody has like tenacity, all that raising the 35 to 47 or whatever it still happens just not in five seconds but faster so the last normal ability is going to be spirit fire which you will level less it will do an initial burst damage damage per second and lower the armor of your enemy very useful skill but watch out how you use it because you can kill your own the enemy minions very quickly so it's going to be harder for you to last hit on the tower and you really want to last hit with your Q so don't try to use it too much if possible or you're just gonna push out your lane immediately last is going to be fury of sand Nessa becomes empowered by a sandstorm for 15 seconds he gains suddenly an attack boost um, his attack range is boosted also very good handy for his Q and his range is of forecasting is also extended by a hundred and every time um, somebody is standing close to him he will lower their health by a percentage and from that percentage he converts this to attack damage this attack damage can be raised to a top to 229 so trust me in a big team fight when you're running into a lot of people you can do a lot of burst damage with this guy and if, if it's not working out for you, if you're not a threat, if they don't try to focus you because they're really afraid of you, trust me, you're a very bad dog. He has problems with champions like Akali, Lee and Kennen, or anybody that can make him use his Q defensively, like to push them away in such situation. And usually what happens then, you will use it defensively, you're not farming correctly with your Q, and you run out of mana. That's why also the Q now has a flat amount of mana usage, so you can still handle the situation, but you never know. Maybe you're going to fight the Teemo, Teemo makes you miss your Qs. So it can be very annoying, but with the right items and the right runes and going back to base once or twice, usually you should be able to handle everybody. That's why everybody takes teleport in case you have to go back, also to be able to gank people in other lanes to try to get to that stage that you're actually useful to 1v1 people. I mean you're not going to 1v1 a level 2 Riven. That's just plain stupid. But the thing is, his problem is kiting. He has no gap closer. He has no built in CC reduction, no speed boost, and one real damaging skill, which is his Q. But come on, he's such a potent champion, he needs a weakness. You just need to use him correctly in smart counter picking, smart items, summoners, and mastery. Nothing really changed about Nasus currently. Nada. Zippo. The thing is people just got smarter. He did get a buff, but now people are just getting a good handle of him. And a very good way to start with him currently is get a few pots, get a beer flask, and that's a very strong option early game.
He's a pretty old fashioned guy, straightforward, that's it, Zippo. There is no secret to this guy, so just do your thing and the best tip that I can give you in this situation is usually early game try to play a little aggressive so the enemy lanes pushes to your lane so you can form safely on the tower. You don't want to fight people in the mid lane which actually pisses them off because they know you will get stronger so they will try to kill you under your tower. And that is the best position Nessus can be in early game. Brother, you've changed. So Nessus is in the lane. So okay, he is against Xin Zhao, a very offensive dead champion. He has to be very careful, especially from his Q, which has that knock up and healing ability. So he has also a little sustain in this situation. And yeah, just like that. And Nessus has to be careful. The best thing that you can do in such a situation when you're fighting somebody that's so 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 offensive. Um, well, you can try to hit him a few times, so your the his minions start pushing your minions, and usually you will be in a more defensive position if somebody tries to come and gank. But it seems Shang Xiao is pushing that already. They're coming already to ganking. Oh man, this Nocturne getting red for getting rage and already being very gangster in this situation. And yeah, he cannot do anything, but this is actually a good position. Form under the tower, if possible, right in front of the tower, and keep up the sustain. I mean, he has his beer flash, he got a few potions, but, 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 Xing Zhao has a uh, fortitude elixir, which is actually very strong item. Once you use that thing, it's like you're going two levels up. It gives you like 830 um, gold in stats. I mean, check Reign of Gaming, it will give you all the explanation why specific items are OP or not early game. So, okay, um, as you can see, it's just trying to keep it, trying to get the cannon minion, which is kind of important. Because it gives you, yeah, 6 um, permanent AD boost, so on your Q at least. So, very important to keep farming that and try to get as much damage. Oh, beautiful. He's farming quite well. If only he knew I was here. I'm stuck. Okay, trying to get these things and keeping it safe. Xing Xiao went to the lane and tried to put a ward. Okay, okay, okay. He's trying to go back. He's going to go in for the offensives, trying to keep him away from the mayor. Nasus is putting his sweater on him. No, okay. Okay, he's trying to, yeah, he's, he, the thing is, Xing Xiao, every time when he pops his Q, he tries to use it, because he already cast the mana to use it, so he really wants to use the last hit to heal from something, so he hits his own minion, so he, he pushes it by himself, we can see V is on its way, so let's see what is going to happen, oh, 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 Xing Xiao is trying to fight in the spirit fire, not a very good thing, I mean, while you might look dumb and weak, you can still get a lot out of it, so, and Xing Xiao is kinda low right now, and I think that actually scared him in that situation. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, everything is going chill. We can see Nocturne is going top. Yeah, Xing is pinging that yes, there's a big lady with a big fist there. Oh, oh. Her, her fist just burned, burned out, so okay, she cannot use it. So one of their main offensive ability, they're not gonna fight in the circle, 100% not. So, okay, okay, just back to the lane, Xing Xiao still popping potion, he still has his um, elixir. Nessus is also is drinking his potion, so... Let's see, what is he going to do? No, he's not going to fight it, he's going to go back because he needs a little um, defense in this situation. So... And the lane is already pushing, so it, it's not a good position, very bad, so he's just gonna go back. Oh man, man, twisted! Oh man, between the two. But yeah, Rice is, um, doesn't have any mana, so uh, he should be okay. Whoa, that's a punch in the face. Man, I hate Lulu too. So okay, back to the lane, back to the lane. So okay, let's see. So Xing Xiao in this situation actually went back also very quickly. Um, yes, I sped it up. Oh, 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 but we have a big problem right now. Xing Xiao actually has two Doran's ring. So he has a lot of burst potential. Wow, um... Nessus only has a Doran Sling for defense and a Ruby Kistrel because he wants to get the Kindle Gem but he just did not have enough money and ah oh man this is bad, this is bad. He heals too much right now and he has too much power so in this situation what's the problem? Um, Xin Zhao is going to turn 6 very soon and yeah, Nessus is going to be in trouble, he's going to be in very big trouble. 
He's trying to fight this off in this situation, but he's not going to be able to. And if Shin Zhao gets 6, they're going to get good thing that V just came right. And we can see Twisted is on its way. Oh man, even the dogs are cheering for him. Boom! Beautiful! So, okay. He's okay, he's okay, he's okay. He managed to survive this, and that is the point. Once you reach 6, you're a bulldog. Nobody can stop you. It's like almost impossible to stop Nasus if he manages to survive the early game. And again, talking about surviving early team, it seems a Gong Mad is not having a good time. Ah, oh, man, you helped him! Ah, oh, man. So, okay. Ness is gonna have to take this in consideration because it seems Bot is having a good time. But yeah, it seems Soraka had to go back for some reason. So, yeah, what you gonna do? So, okay. Back in this lane, we're going to try to push this using the Spirit Fire. As I told you, very handy to push lanes. But not when they're pushing you because... You're gonna make it harder to last hit, they will come with less uh, health, and you're gonna have issues. Okay, there we got Xin Zhao. He got this, he's just gonna run away, and I believe he's just going to teleport back. Let's see, let's see. He's going to get his pimping gem. And let's see, there's a lot of options in this situation. He can go sustain and whatever. Meanwhile, we can see, let's see exactly what is going to happen in the spot lane. A little damage, but oh, we got the teleport rise. Oh man, that was a, a very bad bait. Not a very bad bait, a very good bait. So, yeah, bot and mid is getting fat. Big issues, big issues. So, okay, Ness is trying to control this. He actually bought a ruby, um, one of those mana crystal. So, the point in this situation, he either can get a glacial shroud or a sheen. Which one he's going to get is if he's winning. If he's losing, Glacier Shroud more for the defense. If he's winning, he can go offensive. Doesn't even care about the tower. He's just gonna last hit, but we got somebody coming in for a gank. Boom! Oh man, beautiful. We can clear this up. We're running, we're running, we're running, we're turning in a big dog. Twisted is coming in, stun him. Boom! Okay, one more cube. Bah, beautiful. Got the six point. So, okay. Life is good. Things are going great. Very, very, very great. So, okay, okay, okay. He's just gonna push this lane. There's nothing else to do. Just last hit, do his thing correctly. Mm. So, this is the only thing that you have to do with Ness is wait on the gangs. Well, it's hard to get people coordinating for you in that manner. I mean, this only helps in high elo. But hey. Maybe you can learn something from this. He's gonna use a little Q to damage his things. There goes the Spitfire. Handy to kill the minions very quickly. Okay. But then again, as you can see, I'm changing the view. Boop! Just give you guys an idea what is going on. Oh, beautiful. We got the rice. This rice is kinda strong in this situation. We need to control him. Okay. Mid control. But then again, Bot is having issue. Oh man, Geek Gone Mad is running like he's mad. Oh man, running, running, running. Oh man, what the heck is going on mid also? Oh man, everybody is dying here and there. But still, Ness has got teleport and we are going to teleport bot. Remember, when Movie needs to eat, he likes a pitchy treat. Ah, that is good, that is good, that is good. So, okay, now the only thing we have to do is try to get this Lulu. Come on, punch her, punch her, man. I hate Lulus, I hate Lulus, and with all, with all my heart, I, I hate it with my heart. But Xing Zhao is pushing top, and that is the one thing that we have with teleport. Usually when you teleport bot to help somebody, the top lane can just start pushing and doing his thing, you know. It can be very, very, very annoying. So we need to go run back as quickly. We did buy a Sheen because we are doing quite okay. We are like the main damage um, of the whole team right now. So we are running in and we are going to fight and show this Xing Zhao what is what. Xing Zhao it has lost a few battles already. He only got the po a boots and a butter knife. So if he tries to fight you right now, he's gonna lose. He cannot handle a Sheen right now. It's gonna, uh, he, he can be man, very manly, but it's bad. Fighting in that also? Oh man. Look at that. Look at that damage now that his armor is reduced. He can't fight that. I it's not gonna be very good for him. I mean, Ness is just strong, man. And handsome. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can we handle this situation? Xin Zhao is going back, going actually at his golems. That is a good strategy. If you're losing your lane, just go to your golem. Okay, he's going to go back. 
Is he going to go back? No, he's going to go against the tower. If the tower is destroyed, he will have more place to run around. Xin Zhao is coming back. Oh, 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 oh. This is a good positioning. That is why I said, oh, 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 oh. And the thing is, V is also on its way. Why the thing is, Rice teleport might be a problem, which is the reason that he was also scared when he was talking in stream. But I believe with V, this should be easy. Come on, come on, come on. You don't even need to pop your ult. Oh man, why did V stole that? Ah oh, no, okay, it's okay. V also needs his damage because while she is very strong early game, especially till mid game, um, late game she might get a little issue, but she needs the damage, she needs the damage. But then again, Geeky is doing his thing, but... Okay, Geeky, oh, he did not expect the Nocturne there. There comes Black Din. Oh, he did get the Lulu, good, man. Oh, man, oh, there is Teleport Rise. Oh, man, but there is Teleport Twisted Fate. What's going to happen? Okay, Geek went down, Geek went down, Black Din went down. Okay, they're running, they're running behind. Can they get somebody? No, and Nasus is just farming top, doing his thing the best way he can do it. So, okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of things that he can buy actually in this situation once he go there. He can buy a uh, Locket at Iron Salari, a Sorelia, a Spirit Visage. But I think a Spirit Visage is kinda late. Oh, oh, oh! He uses ult, he uses ult, we can get him! Okay, beautiful, beautiful. He uses ult to form, so okay. So what are we going to buy now? So we got Locket of Solari, um, Sorel, yes, we can buy Spirit Versage, but that's kinda late, and also Magic Resist. And the Locket and the Sorelli do give movement, no, Sorelli gives movement speed, Sorelli gives um, a shield, both have a little cooldown. But we got Jace already to run fast, so Sorali is not an option. But as you can see in this situation, um, he already went for a phage because as he is controlling the most of the battle, doing a lot of damage, at least when you're winning, you can just concentrate on damage. As long as you're winning your lane, it's good enough. I mean, um, Nessus does benefit from Triforce. He does also benefit of the Ice Gauntlet. But the thing is, we'll see how it's going to go. But I believe this game, it will be Triforce. Ah oh man, bad in position. They're just trying to get the weak lane. So Rocket is going to go down. Geeky is running. So... Ah oh man, and we don't have Teleport. Ah, oh, Geeky got caught again! I know, man. And got blasted by bullets. So, okay, Nessus is still doing his thing top. Oh, 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 oh. Boom, Xing Zhao. Beat him, kill him. Boom, okay, okay. Ah, oh, they... Oh, she got fear. She's oh no, she's running a little. Don't go in. You can't see him. Ah, flip. She missed also. Ah, rice cutter. She has to run out. She's flashing. Oh, they're running. They're running. They're running. They're running. Oh, nice stone. Take a few cards. Oh, oh, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a punch in the face. Nasus is coming on his way with his teleport. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's just how you do, Nasus. Same from donkey attack. Woof, woof. This woman. And this dog. So, okay, so we're gonna get the tower also mid, which is also very good. They are having a huge lead money wise and everything. Okay, okay. There's no red. And he's just going back to base? Yes, he is going back to base. So as we can see, he bought actually a Triforce, he got his damage, as you can see right now, he Q does quite a lot of damage, almost 400. Okay, is Twisted going anywhere? Oh man, oh man, this is beautiful, beautiful, oh man, killing this guy again and again and again, trying to take advantage of him, so okay. So Nessus is doing quite well in this situation, 6 0 and 1, owning this game, I believe they might, ooh, sorry, they can get this tower as uh, very quickly right now, if they want. Let's see, oh man, oh okay, at least bot is doing okay, they're killing a few people here and there, Geeky is doing well. Then again, I think, oh oh. I'm just gonna let you enjoy this one. If you get ganked, shame on you. If you get ganked twice, shame on you twice. They're just playing so aggressive, so aggressive, and they are just getting caught every time out of position. 
any more than that, it's just get confusing. And while watching the stream, I remember West Rice was saying in this situation that Rice that they are fighting, which is actually getting fed, was the Rice of PC in previous game that made them lose. He was a very strong Rice, very good player. So he was kind of worried of that situation. Oh, uh, and there is that rice coming. There is no war. This is bad. If Xin Zhao is going to get aggressive, oh man, this is very bad. He has to get out of that place. Yes, yes, it's happening. It's happening. He knows it's wrong. He's pushing him to his death. There is rice going to apply the humongous damage on him. Oh man, now a spirit passage would have been very helpful actually. But the thing is, spirit passage is very useful if you're if you have it early game. So late game it's not 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 that that useful. Oh man, this rice! Wow! Man, man, man! I can't believe that this this is no joke. This guy knows very well and everybody Oh man, this feeding frenzy is going bad. Oh, and they're going in direction. I can see a geek and a girl running in a very bad positioning. Oh man. And we got all those people right there. Nessus is trying to run in that direction. Oh man, getting caught. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so Rock has to get Oh man, caught by Black Din. Oh man, they they have to run out, run. She is Oh man, that I have to say, Nocton was being very lucky this game with his fear. Every time he fears somebody, they run in his direction like, I wanna help you, save me, I'm scared. Oh man. And we got this woman also being aggressive. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. She's trying her best, she is controlling this thing. Oh man, oh man, and the Xin Xiao running right the time away, she's flashing, punching, he's jumping. Oh man, everybody is feeding everywhere. No. About 50 seconds later, after forming wolves and mid lane. So, okay, Nessus is warding. Running top, running top. Let's see if he can do something about that. He's going to try to push this lane. I mean, he needs to be... The thing is, usually when you try to help people that feeding, you're just running around and you're not getting XP. So you can just better stay wherever you are and do whatever you can. Good. Oh, oh, oh. We detected the Red Papa Smurf. We can run away. It's okay, we're going back. We're going back. There we got um, Xing Xiao. With his Sunfire Cave. With his Brutalizer. He's trying to go a tanky Xing Xiao in this situation. He's trying to be a big wall. Okay, everybody's splitting up. They're going for the blue. Oh, yeah, Xing Xiao is just trying to farm. We have seen a Xing Xiao. We are going for it. V is so aggressive. He hasn't seen V yet. Oh man, they're going to go, and there goes the punch. Oh, there goes all oh, the ult of Xing Xiao hitting one, getting just a little armor. There comes Lulu, making it big. He is fighting it. Oh, he's trying to control hit. We have to run. Oh, go, 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 go! What the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. I can't go. But we can beat them. You're a god. I don't have a heart for it. But what? Did we not decide to go together? Just go on and find whatever death you were looking for. Use your ult! All the times you ganked my lane. I'm dying! I'm a dog! So okay, we are going back and we're going to try to clear this as quickly as possible. It seems they are going mid. Did he forget about me? They are pinging for dragon currently. Let's see what is going to happen. Did he use makeup remover? To remove his tail? He looks so handsome! But it's, I think it's kinda dangerous to do that, so Nocturne is going to steal that. Oh man, the the, the money-wise it's getting close, it's almost like almost 2000 gold difference. It was back in the day, a few minutes ago, it was like about 4000 4, gold, so they are getting back into the game. I mean, a lot of people are getting caught, you know? So, okay, he is going back? Yes, he's going back. I mean, oh yes, here in this po at port, um, West Rice was talking about um, it was getting annoying, and there's a lot of time they have been fighting at top lane. He's going there, being very bitchy about that situation, 
and he was he was telling that okay we need to split push this situation because we cannot do a lot um it's just too annoying and there's like a everybody is ready to gank up so he's gonna do, do something a little more safely and make them move into a different position i mean if something doesn't work three times why do it a fourth time it's not like they won't expect it so anyway also there wasn't a lot of ward coverage it's just too dangerous so he can just better go do something different he did get his frozen heart so he can just go right now and try to farm bot and hope that nobody comes this way and hope that everybody plays very defensive i mean 1v1 he can beat almost anyone but the thing is they have like um not a lot of go global but they have very good reaction and we do have rise global and nocturnes ult so it's still annoying and as you can see, everybody is playing defensive and haha, uh -huh, everybody's coming there. All the dog catchers are coming on their way. They're pinging on him. He is starting to run. He doesn't have ghosts, so he has to use his flash. Very useful. Oh man, Flip, he's trying to run. Oh, there comes Nocturne. And he's going to be lucky again. Yes, running in to for the hog. I knew it. Just stupid. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. It, it, for some reason, he scares everybody in his direction. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Aggressive again. Aggressive again. Out of position again. Feeding again. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 17 to 18. Wow. The score difference is only a thousand gold now. They are running. They're running. They're going for the Baron. And the thing is, Nasus uses ult. I mean, what is in for him is actually he's going to be fighting these dog catchers without his ult. Why do you have this? I hate it. He's going in. Boom! Got the rise. Okay, he's trying to chase the next one. Go for the knockdown. He's dead already. There's a lonely woman there. Beat the shit out of her. Geek gone mad. He's going. He's going to kill him. Boom! Oh, beautiful. And he's gonna die slowly. Beautiful. Okay, bye bye, Yutapon. Rice just got bursted big time. I mean, the twisted card just did huge damage to him. I mean, now that I think about it, um, he doesn't have a lot of magic resist in this situation. So they actually bursted him. Maybe if he had the Banshees, it would have gone better. And also, who was that also guy? Um, Jace also blasted him big time with his blip. Uh, what the heck is Lulu doing? Ah oh man, come on man, you gonna make me a squirrel? Boom! Ah, oh, why did Geek steal that? Ah oh, man. So anyway, okay, life is good, life is good, 6 to 6. Nessus is doing great. They're going to get this inhibitor and I believe they have to run out because Rice is coming in like a boss. Very pissed, big time. So they have to be very, very careful, twisted and her. Ah, oh, there goes Nocturne, he's going to catch one somebody. Oh, finally one that doesn't run, oh, did run in that direction, ah oh, man. V is going to go down too. Oh uh, man, come on people, just don't fight, don't fight, don't fight at all. It is not worth it, man. It's not worth it. And they have to run in out of this city. Why are they staying here? This is bad. They're going to run. They're gonna get, get caught. Oopsie, and they're also running right past a ward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ay, 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 ay. ay. Is she gonna? Oh, she's running into them. I know, man. I know, man. This is so weird. This is so weird. 22, 22. There's still 3,000 gold behind, but just gonna they're gonna destroy this tower. Misfortune is going to push top, and they're gonna have to do something about it. And Nessus need to build that Kindle gem into something more defensive to be able to survive um, a lot more attacks if possible. I mean, they're just, they're just filled with bad luck this game. I mean, now that we have time, everything is a little chill and we can check everything and see what everybody got. So Jace is very offensive compared to Misfortune, also very offensive, but she is building to counter armor because Nasus, she is trying to destroy. As I told you, if you are not a threat, they're not focusing to kill you. You're doing it wrong. This is big time. Um, yeah, Twisted Fate is just big time damage, um, Rabadons, Lich Bane, compared to Rise, get 
Rice got just a little AP, a little defense. He does do quite a lot of damage. And he's... Oh, now he got a Spirit for Sasha. Now he's going a little for the Magic Resist. And V, V just a big time puncher. And now turning into a tank. Because right now, that will burst her if he just jump, tries to punch him and get caught by Rice. Lulu, the support as usual. Soraka, the support as usual. But Soraka did get that um, that big shield item. The Gangster Aegis. Oh, nice change out. Beautiful, beautiful. So, the AoE damage of... What was it, the guy? Rise is not going to do a lot of damage. The AoE damage of Misfortune is not going to be in effect. So, she has good item build. And compared to Lulu... I don't know what Lulu is trying to build. Speed, Candle Gem, Philosopher Stone. I don't know, she... She built like kind of offensive. Maybe she bought a lot of wars. I don't know. Maybe it did help in that situation, but she doesn't have any major item compared to Soraka. Oh, missed the punch. Oh, he has to stand in the way. Knocked her. Oh, whoa, the game is totally slowed. Oh, Miss Fortune is focusing Nasus big time. She's really trying to kill him. He's running away. Go, go, man. Flash, flash. Oh, beautiful. Oh, she wasted all that time on him. Knocked is out of position. Oh, man. Go, go, go. That squirrel is going to turn into a big woman and start punching everybody. Oh, beautiful Ness. And now just focus the misfortune, the red head. Come on. You can do it. Beautiful, beautiful. With the armor buff of Soraka, you can beat that guy. Look at that armor amount that he has. Big time. So, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope to guys see you guys next time. And I'm going to try to make a lol moment currently right now. So, oh, by the way, one more thing, guys. I would like to ask you guys to remember to like my video, subscribe, or favorite. It will help me a lot. Um, I need to bring my stuff out there, so I would like to get more subscribers if possible. So, thanks again. Thanks for coming by, and see you guys next time. I kind of like this place. It's my new home. Begin in thirty seconds. Who's next? Shall we?